Hi, Dominic Colenso from Inflow here. In this rapid success video, I want to talk to you about using the camera for virtual meetings and webinars. Let's start the clock. When you think about virtual meetings and webinars, don't underestimate the power of the image that your audience is seeing. If you want to increase your influence, you need to pay attention to these three things. The first is where you position the camera. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that the background is balanced. Uh, we don't want something like this, which feels a little bit off kilter. Uh, we don't want to be in a situation where there's a huge amount of space uh, above the uh, head. We want something that feels uh, like it's symmetrical and therefore feels calm for your audience to watch. Uh, the second thing is to think about your position in relationship to the camera. So too far back and we start to feel a little bit kind of disconnected, uh, too close and uh, you're almost seeing up my nose and it's all a little bit weird. So we again want something that is balanced. There is space around me uh, and yet I'm still connected to you as I talk. And then the third thing to think about is eye contact. So are you looking down the lens of the camera, right down the lens so that you're connecting with the person on the receiving end? The minute that I shift my focus and look at myself, then you start to feel disconnected from me, or, or even worse, I'm looking down and I'm doing some work and you're just seeing the top of my head. So those are the three things that are gonna increase your influence when you're working through the medium of video. Firstly, the position of the camera. Secondly, your position in relationship to the camera. And thirdly, your eye contact with the audience.